Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. I want to first of all thank uh, the Enterprise for being here, uh, some media personnel for being here as well. I want to thank Jess Hodges, uh, Communications Director of Brockton Public Schools, for helping. Uh, my Chief of Staff, Kerry Richards, for helping. Department heads, I do want to take a moment, first of all, to recognize uh, the Council President, Shirley Azak, is here. Steve Hook from Brockton Emergency Management. He's the Director of BEMA. Chief Manny Gomes from Brockton PD. John McGarry, who is the uh, Health Officer for the Board of Health here in the City of Brockton. Chief Mike Williams from Brockton Fire. Superintendent of Schools, Mike, Mike uh, Thomas, for being here as well. It's unprecedented times right now in the history of the United States. It's a, an epidemic, it's a serious health crisis, it's, it's a pandemic. Uh, with that being said, as the city of Brockton's mayor, I have a declaration I'd like to make, uh, and it's going to impact uh, the citizens and the business owners here in the city of Brockton. Today, as mayor of the city of Brockton, I, Robert F. Sullivan, am declaring a state of emergency in the city of Brockton. Upon advice of the city's emerg emergency management director and other public safety and health officials, I've de determined that the coronavirus, COVID-19, poses a present and reasonable imminent danger to the public health, safety, and the general welfare of the people and the property of the city of Brockton. This declaration will allow our municipal government to access state and federal resources to better serve the community that we call home. It will allow, allow us to coordinate municipal services, equipment, supplies, and facilities. In addition to the state of emergency, I am closing the Council on Aging Senior Center and all branches of the Brockton Public Library effective immediately for further notice. All permits for the use of city facilities are hereby suspended. The DW Field Golf Course is also closed until further notice. The cancellation of school again has been extended from the original date of March 27th through now the Governor's order of April 7th. While City Hall and other city businesses will remain open, they will be restricted to essential services and all non-essential city meetings are hereby canceled through March 30th, 2020. In accordance with the revised open meeting law, I am strongly encouraging for essential government meetings to be held virtually. In addition, I encourage all residents to conduct as much business as possible through the city's website, and I'll cite that now, brockton.ma.us. This is extremely important right here. Convenience fees will be waived for all online payments and transactions. For residents of the city of Brockton who must come to City Hall, only one entrance as of tomorrow morning will be open. The side entrance, also known as the handicap entrance, which goes into the basement of City Hall. Business will be limited to a certain number of customers at time per the governor's declaration and order. I apologize for any inconvenience the health and safety of city employees and all city residents is my top priority as the mayor of the city of Brockton. I encourage all of you and all residents to follow the protocols recommended, recommended by the CDC. Wash your hands. Keep six feet of social distance between yourself and other parties. If you feel sick or have flu-like symptoms, please contact your primary care physician, your medical doctor, and self-isolate in your home. As a city and community, we are taking health, this health crisis extremely serious. We need to follow the recommendations of the health care professionals and the order issued by Governor Charlie Baker last evening. I fully understand that the business community will be greatly affected by the governor's orders. However, please let it be known that Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito reached out to me today and she informed me that a small business emergency loan fund of $10 million was just approved today. The process for applying will be posted on the COVID-19 state website later this afternoon. Today I had a conference call with the hospitals in the city of Brockton and also Neighborhood Health Center. I also had a call with the nursing home directors, resting ho rest home directors, and the executive directors of the assisted living, those serving the senior citizens, homeless service providers, and business leaders. I also met in my office with the Executive Director of the Brockton Housing Authority and the Administrator of BAT, Brockton Area Transit. I will continue to hold these meetings and calls to keep the community, 
the business leaders informed so that we're all on the same page. I'll also keep the citizens updated on a regular basis on the website, on, on Facebook. It will be in multiple languages as well. Please do follow the city on Facebook and check the city website for all updates. And it will happen on a regular basis. I do wish to publicly thank Bill Santos, Director of the IT, for helping on this endeavor. At this time, I want to thank the Superintendent of Schools, the City Council President, Police Chief, the Fire Chief, Director of FEMA, Health Officer of the Board of Health, Department heads throughout the city and on the school side, City Council, the School Committee, and my team in the Mayor's Office for your support and guidance during this unprecedented health crisis. I want to take a, just a quick moment to let you know that John McGeary, who was a retired um, multi multiple city employee, he was a ward city councilor, he was a councilor at large, he's director of the elections, and he's retired. He's a registered nurse. And I asked him last Friday, John, could you please do me a favor and step up? And on an interim basis, the Board of Health ratified him. And as a registered nurse and someone really vested for over 40 years in the healthcare industry, there's nobody other than John McGarry right now that I'd want in that capacity. He hit the ground running on day one. He's on all the calls that we need. And I want to publicly thank you, John. Thank you very much. You thought you were retired, but we brought you back. But I do really want to say this. Please treat this as a serious, serious health crisis. By that I mean, I ask you to stay at home if you can. Stay with your family, stay around your home or in your home. Yesterday I drove by the Edgar Playground, I saw 50 kids playing. Now's not the time to do that. So again, let's follow the standards set by other municipalities such as the city of Boston and the town of Weymouth and honor what Governor Baker said last night. And again, I wanted to come here before you today to tell you what my declaration of a local state of emergency is. Again, I want to thank you for being here, and I thank you for your friendship, your support, and your collaborative approach. Thank you. God bless you all. Stay safe. Thank you.